So by the time we discovered I had it, it had metastasized to my abdomen and melanoma moves very quickly. Data from the America Cancer Society shows more than 100,000 new melanoma cases will be diagnosed this year. The Cancer Society also expects more than 8,000 people will die from the disease. But health experts are hopeful this number will decrease thanks to new treatment. I'm Remy Murray outside the Cleveland Clinic with what one survivor has to say. It's incredible to me when I hear about advances in cancer research. Rabbi Robert Nosenchuk tells me his life forever changed back in April 2019 when he learned he had metastatic melanoma. If I hadn't had abdominal pain entirely unrelated to the cancer, then I never would have wound up at the ER. Five years later, Nosenchuk says he's thankful to be alive thanks to his immunotherapy treatment. Now on this Melanoma Monday and the start of Skin Cancer Awareness Month, he and Dr. Takjiao Trua are hopeful more people will have the same chance. That's because the FDA recently approved the first cell-based treatment for solid tumor cancers, offering a new option for patients with advanced melanoma who have not responded to other drugs. We feel there's great hope for where melanoma treatment is today. While melanoma only accounts for 1% of skin cancers, the American Cancer Society says it causes a large majority of skin cancer deaths. So Trill says the new treatment will use the power of a patient's own immune T cells to attack their tumor. Because of these new treatments, Melanoma has led the way in improving survival for cancer at large by 20%. The Cleveland Clinic has two patients who consented to treatment, which makes the hospital one of 23 early authorized treatment centers around the country. When I was diagnosed, there wasn't more than two or three years worth of data to give me as to how people have done. So now I'm part of the data five years later. Mm -hmm of people living longer. Three weeks from now, Nosen Chuck says he will have his five year scan to see if his cancer is in remission. In Cleveland, Remy Murray, News 5. Skin cancer is also one of the more preventable cancers. Risk factors include sun exposure, indoor tanning beds, family history, medications that suppress the immune system. The American Cancer Society says the older a person gets, the more they are at risk for melanoma. The average age of diagnosis, 65.